Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we're back with some ARC news from their community crunch. Every now and then I do a little bit of ARC news when there's something interesting happening. And being that it's ARC's fifth birthday soon, there's a little bit of news regarding what's going to be happening. And ARC's introducing a new dinosaur for this event. And we thought this dinosaur was going to be an exclusive to the Crystal Isles map that's also due out on July 5th. But it turns out this dino is going to go across a multitude of maps. Some of the notes that the developers have put out on the creature say that up close the Trapicathonis is easily recognised by its keeled crest on its snout, but with wingspans of up to 27 feet. The large wings are not only ideal for catching air currents over ocean hunting grounds, but also let the Trapicathonis draft off other flying creatures from flying behind them. While not the fastest flyer on the isles, when combined with its remarkable stamina, this makes the Tropicothanus well suited for long distance flight. Because its wingspan is so much, Tropicothanus is best snared by those riding another flyer. I've noticed the tribe's people using chain bowlers to capture them while airborne. Once tamed, Tropicothanus has proven quite useful to the people of the isles beyond mere transportation. For example, as its toothed beak can now grind down many common goods to their base components, which, which is a great way to recycle items and gear. Well, so long as you've got a rag handy to wipe off the spit. Its bite is punishing enough to crack armour and grind through it over time. And with all the right tools, some survivors has managed to fit them with a saddle mounted flat cannon and a jet engine for maximum lethality. Trust me, you haven't lived until you've ridden a jet powered plateosaur into a dogfight. Saddle up and see for yourself. So ever since the Crystal Isles map was launched back in 2016, its fantasy appeal has secured its place as one of the most popular maps in the art community. And it's going to be great that they're going to optimise it for a full supported free DLC. And this in the background here is the Crystal Isles map. As you can see it is beautiful and it's definitely worthy of being a winner. They have confirmed that the Crystal Wyverns will certainly be making their, their tameable appearance on the Isle map. So really looking forward to this one coming out, the Fantasy Edition. Don't know if I'm going to be able to add it to my cluster map myself. We have just added Ragnarok. And of course we've got the Genesis cluster going. If you're on PC you're welcome to join us. Follow the links to my Discord in the channel banner or the description down below. You can come and join the community we've got going on the complete retreat. Also, I've recently joined Twitter, so join me on there if you want to get some notifications for ARC news. And news when I go live, it's all a bit much to bombard you with, but yeah, join my Twitter account. Also, if you're interested in knowing when I do stream on Twitch, I'm going to start putting announcements out for when I go live there as well. Currently other news on the channel, I'm currently working on the survivor notes and we're doing a read through of all of the island's survivor notes and I'm going to be putting together a condensed version of the whole story into one. I want to pick out some of the places that we've been looking at where I suspect Rockwell's base was and a couple of other locations I want to highlight on the island. Rumours and speculation are floating around that Ark Survival Evolved 2 is certainly on the horizon. We do know that Genesis Part 2 will be due out early next year. This could be very well the last DLC map we'll be getting from Wildcard. And if an Ark 2 is on the horizon, and that's only good for my channel. At the moment, Ark Survival Evolved on Steam has got a 75% mark off on its Explorer's Edition bundle, so the complete bunch, 75% off. If leaked rumours are confirmed to be true, Epic Games stores on the 7th of July will be doing Ark Survival Evolved as a free game. As well as Civilization and Borderlands, it looks like Ark Survival Evolved is going to be going free to play on the, on the Epic Store the 7th of July. How that's going to integrate with the Stream Workshop and the modding community, I don't know. This is again one of the problems by putting the game on Epic Stores. There isn't a support for the modding community there. And Ark needs to consider this, considering over the last five years what the modding community has done to bring this game to such a different level. Of course this is just speculation but there's some leaks as well of screenshots that it should be going so keep an eye out on Epic Stores on the 7th. And that about covers it for the ARK Survival Update news from myself. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.